Today we're doing another product review. Specifically, we're doing the Infinity One Scuff Controller, which is an elite controller for the Xbox One. The Scuff Controller, the Infinity One Scuff Controller, is a controller that's got a bunch of different options, a bunch of different configurations that you can purchase. Um, the first thing, one of the most noticeable things, and um, the one that will be of the biggest concern to most people is the paddle system. Essentially, the scuff controller can have on the bottom of it a series of paddles which mimic the uh, face buttons, you know, the, the letter face buttons, your Y, your X, your B, and your, uh, uh, what's the other one, A. Um, and it, uh, those paddles, it's, it's these buttons here, those paddles, which are ordinarily here, I took mine out, um, those paddles, are basically designed so that you don't hurt your fingers making all kinds of weird configurations trying to press the buttons in the wrong way. Everybody knows the old, uh, especially in fighting games, the, the claw where you have to twist your fingers in the wrong way to hit you know, the X and the Y button at the same time. It's basically meant to prevent that. Um, I find it useful in some games and very unuseful in others. However, it does interfere with the way you hold the controller, which is why I actually took mine out, because right now I'm not playing a fighting game. I'm, I was playing a driving game. Um, the next option is the thumbsticks. Now, this is the option that I found most interesting. You can basically have the thumbsticks different lengths, and you can have the thumbsticks either concave or convex. Um, the, having concave or convex changes slightly the way you move the controller. Either you're, if it's uh, convex, your thumb is sitting in the controller and you're moving the controller around, sort of pulling it. And if it's concave, your, uh, um, your, your thumb is on top of the controller and you're pushing the button in different directions. It's a small difference, but it's kind of cool. Um, the different lengths really is essentially for stick sensitivity. It's it's really scuff controllers are designed around elite gamers, people who are playing games for money and not casual gamers like myself, but I wanted one, so I got one. Um, it doesn't make that big a difference unless you're being really finicky. However, I still like it. I, 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 uh, I got the one that they recommend for more serious gamers. Um, and it's pretty cool. Um, now they have the option for uh, an adjustable trigger system. You can make your triggers like hair trigger, stuff like that. I didn't go for that. That's for stuff, people who are, who are way more serious than me. I don't have any money on the line on this. Um, you can also replace your, uh, you can replace the, your directional buttons. You can replace your directional buttons with a disc um, so that you just slide your finger around without having to, uh, lift it and press it down again. Um, again, that's for speed, that's for um, winning in competitions. I didn't go for that option. Um, you can, oh, that is an option that you can actually buy later because the disc that um, that you put on there is just something that you slap on the controller and it stays. So you can just buy one later and, and add that. Um, the other thing about it is it's got, you know, if you see my controller, it's got the fancy grips. I've got the fancy grips on it right there. Um, the grips are different materials that are designed for, A, preventing your sweat from getting the controller um, ungrippable. And also, one of the materials, though the, you can't really see it here, but the, the blacker part on the inside is actually made from the same material that they use to make the uh, gripping parts of military weapons throughout the world. I just thought that was a cool detail. You don't have to have that. I, I got it because it was, you know, what, 20 bucks extra. Um, you're already paying twice. It's The scuff controller I got was about twice the, the controller, the price of a brand new Xbox controller. I paid about 140 for mine. It, they started about 120. The cheapest options is 120 for uh, the replacement of a $60 controller. Um, so the upside of the scuff controllers. The most obvious upside is the build quality. The build quality is 
amazing. This thing is much heavier than this. This is the normal Xbox controller. This is the stuff controller. The build quality on this thing is amazing. It is a, a very well built uh, device. Um, a lot of care goes into it. When you buy one, you get a letter from the president of the company thanking you for supporting their product. It's really, really cool. I still have mine somewhere. Um, and the other thing about it is it is a really good controller. I mean, it is a superb controller. I did notice a couple of issues. One is the button, which replaces, of course, this button. The scuff controllers, uh, the stuff scuff controllers replacement of the Xbox button is not as sensitive as the original Xbox button. That is a bit problematic. Um, the downside of the scuff controller is actually nothing to do with the actual scuff controller itself. The downside of the scuff controller is the regular Xbox controller. The regular Xbox controller is a brilliant controller. There's nothing wrong with it. The build quality of it is superb. The scuff controller is a little better but the build quality of the Xbox One controller is so good, it doesn't really need to be replaced. The only real reason to replace it is if you want some of the options, which are clearly just bells and whistles, like the different uh, length controllers, the concave convex controller, the, the um, circle instead of the uh, directional buttons, um, the paddles on the bottom. If you want those, you're going to have to buy some kind of an elite controller. Now, with the release of the Xbox One S, Xbox is making their own Elite controllers. I don't have one of those, I can't compare them. But I will tell you that the number one knock on the scuff controller has nothing to do with any fault in the scuff controller. It actually has to do specifically with how good the controller is that it's replacing. It's a controller that doesn't really need to be replaced. Um, my score for the scuff controller is I got to give it uh, nice. It would have been four and a half stars, except that I found out that you can remove the, the paddles and get them out of your way. And so it's a five star controller. It's a brilliant controller. But then again, so is the Xbox One normal controller. It's also five stars. So the question is, do you want to pay more for the bells and whistles? Twice as much more to be exact. I did. I'm not disappointed with it, but that's a question you have to ask yourself. Scuff Infinity One Xbox One controller. Five stars. Thanks for watching.